हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू योगिक एंड मॉडर्न साइंस एज यू ऑल नो वी हैव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट जे कृष्ण मूर्ति फॉर द लास्ट थ्री फोर एपिसोड्स सो टुडे आल्सो वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट वन ऑफ हिज कोर्ट्स और अदर यू कैन से वन ऑफ हिज राइटिंग एंड फर्दर एपिसोड्स ऑल्सो विल डील विद द सेम यू नो सेम थिंग वेरियस like topics or uh, various articles that uh, his disciples have uh, you know compiled or collected uh, from what whatever he has said throughout his life now today i have got a book called the book is the book of life okay this is the book of jakesh murthy and uh, i will be taking uh, one very very important uh, topic uh it is about soul and uh, the heading of the topic is is there such a thing as a soul okay this is uh, one topic of jaker smooth of this book okay and in this uh, <coughs> uh topic uh, krishna murthy is leaving a big question mark whether uh, there is a soul or not right or if there is anything uh, like soul then what exactly it is okay but what exactly it is okay he has not mentioned at all okay there is a big question mark on this on the existence of soul okay but uh, friends in uh, in the indian philosophy or you can say in the indian religious system okay whether it is uh, hinduism or buddhism or jainism okay people have always talked about almost in all the religion okay um, uh, there is a mention of soul right and uh, it means there is something about soul okay or but i mean it may be that we are not aware of it okay you may not be aware of it okay but uh, what they are referring to can be explored in different ways right we may not be aware of that okay but at least we can try to understand it to uncover it all the krishna murti does not uncover it okay for some reason okay i know that reason okay uh, but uh, and his reason is quite valid okay he does not uncover uh, the mystery of soul okay but he leaves a tremendous a big question mark okay on the existence of soul the way we understand it or the way the common people understand it right now let me just read out okay some important lines okay of his article in this book okay about the soul so the heading is is there such a thing as a soul right now <clears throat> he says to understand this question of death we must be rid of fear which invents the various theories of afterlife or immortality or reincarnation right now what he is trying to say is that it is due to the fear of death we or the human mind try to invent or discover okay something okay which they call soul right and because the common uh, you know people okay their minds uh, it is fearful okay fearful of everything in his life okay because in life everything is transient everything is just changing right so very naturally okay human mind tries to tries to invent something which is permanent right which does not get destroyed right so in his search of this permanency he discovers the idea of soul okay he is trying to say something like this now he is uh, raising a question is there such a thing we like to think there is such a thing because it gives us pleasure because that is something that we have set beyond thought 
beyond words, beyond. It is something eternal, spiritual that can never die. Okay. So our mind try to explore something, try to discover or invent something which is permanent in nature. Right. So Krishnamurti is saying we have discovered this idea, we have invented this idea. Right. So according to him, the idea of soul is just a pure idea. It is not there is no substance in this idea. Right. So it has arisen due to our fear. Right. Fear of life. So we want to discover something which is eternal, spiritual that can never die. So thought clings to it. So that is why our mind, our thoughts cling to this idea. Idea. What is that idea? That uh, soul is something which is permanent, which is eternal, which is a spiritual, which does not die, which does not change. Okay. So these ideas, uh, you know, give us comfort. Okay. So we take comfort in this idea. That is why we all have discovered this idea of soul. But he is raising a question. But is there such a thing as a soul, which is something beyond time? something beyond thought something that is not invented by man something that is beyond the nature of man something that is not put together by the cunning mind now he is saying he is asking to all of us that is there such a thing which is beyond time but the mind sets sees such enormous uncertainty confusion nothing permanent in life nothing your relationship to your wife, your husband, your job, nothing is permanent, right? So in our life, nothing is permanent. Everything is temporary. Our job, our wife, our day-to-day -day affair, okay. So whatever is there in our life, okay, it is not permanent. And so the mind invents, uh, invents something which is permanent. So this mind, the same mind, invents something which is permanent, eternal, okay, just as an idea. Okay, this is very, very important which it calls the soul and mind calls it the soul but since the mind can think about it thought can never thought can think about it as thought can think about it it is still within the field of time naturally so krishnamurti is saying whatever mind thinks about the soul it is still within the limitation of the mind within the limitation of time and krishnamurti always says mind is time Right. So if mind is time, our concept of soul is also within that limitation. It also lies within the limitation of time or mind. So if I can think about something, it is part of my thought. Okay. So whatever mind has invented, it is part of it. Right. So soul is also part of our mind, according to Krishnamurti. And Krishnamurti ji is just asking a question. Okay from all of us and my thought is the result of time of experience of knowledge so whatever we think okay it is the result of our experience okay so accordingly soul is also the result of our experience or our imagination so the idea of continuity of a soul that will reborn over and over again has no meaning so from this idea of soul of the human mind Okay, that soul is something which is permanent. Okay, the idea of reincarnation also came into me. What is reincarnation? That the permanent soul okay, takes birth, dies, again takes birth, dies, takes birth, dies, and it goes on and on and on ad infinitum. For infinity, it goes on and on. Right? So the idea of reincarnation and idea of uh, the soul, okay, they are totally based upon our thinking, our human mind. Okay, and according to J. Krishnamurti ji, whatever we think, it is still within the limitation of thinking or within the limitation of thinker. It is. It does not go beyond it. Okay, so our soul, the concept of soul, our concept of reincarnation, they are all limited because it is the product of our thinking okay so according to jay krishnamurti our concept of soul and reincarnation 
is not valid there is a big question mark on our invention now friends i would like to explore into this concept of soul from the yogic science point of view and from other schools of thoughts okay in indian system of you can say philosophy or religious uh, you know culture right we have uh, uh, the school of uh, thought in hinduism there are various schools of thoughts okay in jainism also in buddhism also in various other sects also right and especially from the yogic science point of view okay we will try to explore uh, the concept of soul okay what exactly uh, we are referring to okay obviously it is not the product of our thinking or the thinker according to jikrish murthy and he is very right okay whatever he is see, he is saying uh, he is 100% accurate okay but he is not uncovering the mystery of soul okay this is also correct okay and uh, it is his style of dealing with the things or dealing with the disciples okay uh, actually he wants his disciples to explore themselves okay what exactly is soul or what is the origin of life or what is truth what is the reality what is unreal okay so jekar smurti wants not his disciples wants everybody to explore into it okay and according to him it is not a big deal to explore into it on the condition that we have total freedom to explore into this uh, you know uh, mysterious looking things right so in the next episode uh we'll be dealing with uh from the yogi science point of view what exactly is the soul okay referred to by various schools of thoughts especially yogic science thank you friends isme isme aap phone number to bata dete okay friends or comments yes one more thing okay if you have any idea or if you have any concept of soul right i am talking about soul okay then you can leave your comment in the comment box right in the youtube uh, video okay and uh, in the uh, you know description okay i'll also give you my phone number okay you can contact me okay if there is any query regarding uh, the existence of soul okay or whatever uh, we are talking oh, about phone number okay so otherwise my phone number is uh, 99081 Six seven eight zero. Okay, this is my phone number. Okay, so for any query, okay, you want to contact me, then contact me on this phone number. Thank you, friends.